of this unknown speaker, Hugo Tesson. You know that Hugo uh, started talking in, in about security in Rudetcon in the aviation industry. We've had our up and ups and downs with different organizations. He gave um, a talk on that in the previous router.com. He and he'll be telling you about the evolution of these things in recent years. We'll be uh, making a public announcement, by the way, thanks to Hugo. He's taken it so seriously. It is a really, really good piece of good news. So things can change when we are tenacious, when we insist, when we talk, when we communicate in a friendly way, and we show that we want to be helpful, and when we avoid prison. I know that some of you have met me before, and you're probably uh, wondering what this is all about. It's only five minutes. I would not even remove my jacket. It is only five minutes. We needed to find some space for this, so the break. So first of all, let me give you a very brief rundown on my contributions to Rooted Con. That was 2012, Annus Horribilis. At the end of one of the best talks during Rooted Con, a third of people of the people in the room left the room because they were they had malnutrition but they were happy. After that, in 2014, Pato buys an iPad. He gets serious about it. So I came back to talk about aircraft. 2015, my farewell. I came here, I gave you my last talk about air aircraft, and I said goodbye. In 2016, I uh, kept my promise and I didn't turn up. The reason I did not return was not that I didn't have anything else to tell you about aircraft. I could be talking about aircraft for half an hour, even half an hour. The reason why I couldn't come here in 2016, and 2017 actually, is this one. This became my office. I started working officially in aviation, and every week I sign one or two NDAs that tell me about what happens if I say things that I'm not allowed to. Okay, so I'm not allowed, except for some very specific circumstances, like today. So apart from the talk that I have tomorrow, which is not that much of a big deal, I've come here today to tell you about aircraft for three minutes, literally. Does anyone remember this talk? The contents of my last talk about aircraft in 2015? Well, during that talk, I had a very specific goal. It wasn't just coming here to show how smart I am, the uh, interesting things that I found. I came here to try and motivate people to encourage people attending to start doing things in the, in the world of security for the aviation industry. Please raise your hands if I manage to encourage you in, with any of you. Right, I'm ready for this moment, okay? I'm not watching carefully. I understand this is not easy, not something you will get paid for. It's amusing, but it requires an effort. What would happen if this was to become your office? Anyone that didn't feel encouraged to go into the aviation industry would feel encouraged now. Yes. If this was a real opportunity, every now and then you could have this become your office. Well, this is what I've come here to announce. I've come here to tell you that in Ruta Con in Spain for the first time this year, my company with me included, and several European institutions that I still cannot mention because we haven't finished the paperwork, have uh, launching an initiative to get together and improve on the existing community of experts on aviation security. We are looking for people and we're looking for companies, individuals, 
uh, don't have to be unemployed. I don't care if, you're, uh, if you have a job right now. That is not a requirement that you have uh, you're, uh, you're jobless. And we're looking for companies. You must have a profile connected with cybersecurity one way or another, but you don't have to be experts in aviation. You must be willing to learn. You must be attracted to this subject. Uh, we're not expecting that you invest money or that you go for training or that you deliver services. We're only looking for people who would like to get involved in aviation security at a European level, doing research, getting into projects, checking the security of anything that can fly over Europe, and we're looking for people and companies from now on. So we wanted Rue.com to be the first place where we made this announcement, so I cannot give you any additional details because we are in the middle of the paperwork, but the initiative has been launched. So all you need to do if you're interested is find me around, me or anyone in the organization for Rue.com, because they ha they're willing to uh, behave as secretaries for me, so thank you very much. And just let me know or let them know, okay? Give us your contact details. And that's it, five minutes, 20 seconds, that was it. Before you go, it is very important that you become aware of the fact that by persevering, by working hard, with no censorship, with no threats, and collaborating with people that are really talented, you can indeed change things in the real world. Thank you very much indeed.